good morning fellas this is satendra from urban school please visit us at www.urbanschool.in uh, in this video i am going to explain you how to use the integration command in matlab so let's suppose i want to integrate a function let's say sin x with respect to x to start with i need to tell the matlab environment that i am going to use x as my variable so s y m s symbols x now i can use x as a variable so my function let's suppose fun is sin of x and uh, now i want to integrate my function fun with respect to x so here it is it will give me the answer minus cos x now all these steps some of steps you can also escape let's say s y m s is x then i want to integrate some function uh, let's say cos of x with respect to x so the answer will be sin x now in the similar fashion we also can do the integration within the two limits let's suppose i want to integrate the function cos x with respect to x from 1 to 5 then here is the answer sin 5 minus sin 1 so in this way you can do some integration any integration actually in matlab you can do from 0 to infinity also uh, let's try some let's try this with uh, some other functions also let's say now in this this time i want to uh, i want my variable a so i will define my function a and i will do the integration with respect to a now i want to integrate function called a upon a square oh sorry a square plus 3 with respect to a from 1 to 10 so it will give me the answer which will be log 10 plus 27 in the similar fashion you can also go from 1 to infinity limit but the answer depends on the function in this case the answer will be infinity so that's how you can do the integration of some function with respect to some variable from any limit to any limit starting limit to end limit in matlab environment so That's it for this video. See you in the next one. Please do subscribe me. It uh, means a lot to me. Thanks for watching the video.